Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Did you guys realize that I always do some kind of spirit finger kind of thing because I do, makes me feel comfortable and let's move on. So I did a poll on what I should do next as far as a collection and between a designer shoe collection, a designer sunglass collection and a fragrance collection of course the designer shoe collection was the one that had over 60 percent so here i am hopefully the lighting is okay and i'm going to start with that just so you know it's only going to be sneakers it's not going to be all designer shoes because then we'll be here for 10 years and my camera overheats after maybe about 30 minutes of filming so i'm trying to get all of whatever i can now so it's just sneakers okay and when i'm talking about designer all i have here is chanel louis vuitton balenciaga christian dior and maybe oh and like six random branded ones that i haven't seen in a really long time and it's about time I rotate it back into my quarantine and chill collection. Maybe I'll clean them and wear them in the house. Or if I haven't worn them at all, I'm going to wear them in the house, break them in. I'm not sure. But I think this is a really good time for everybody to kind of see what they have in their collection and see do you, and ask yourself, do I need it? Do I even use it? Like, here we go. How I'm going to start off this video is by designer. And the first one that I'm going to start with is just... First on my list here is going to be Chanel. So the first, and just mind you, they might be a little bit dusty because if it's dusty, I apologize. And if it's dirty, it's because it's been used, guys. I haven't cleaned my shoes in a while, which is probably something I will do as I am quarantining. So first things first, Chanel. And the first pair that I have here is these suede lows so i probably wore these only a handful of times not too much as you can see on the bottom here if you can see it it's still pretty clean so this style is actually pretty popular it's considered more of a more of a dad chunky shoe in my opinion i don't think so i just think it's just a, a good runner slash walker shoe so we have the nylon bits here on the side the cc is like a transparent pink and then this uh sides here are suede so it is it has a lot of different fabrications to this shoe and it comes with the pink laces and i think it does also come with the spare of black laces as well this is my favorite shoe that came out from chanel as far as a runner goes and i really love it um I love lows a little bit more than highs just because you know honestly for me lows are much more of my style right now but I have like a mixture of a bunch so there's the first one the second pair is the same style but it's in this like tri color here so we have like a lavender purple where you can see the nylons and then there's a translucent blue which kind of looks like it's purple because it's on top of the nylon we even have some turquoise here is turquoise laces and like a sea like a tiffany blue here the inside is a neon green terry cloth and this is the back but i got these shoes here from las vegas this happened to be one of the few that they only had left this color was actually pretty popular when it came out and it sold out really quickly i did not see it in any chanel boutiques and i went to many chanel boutiques whether it be here in hawaii and in las vegas i finally found it at neiman marcus at the fashion show mall so i was so happy to have picked that up especially if you do shop at department stores too they have like the rewards so that's something that that will never happen in hawaii because we have all the designer fashion house boutiques here that they don't have too much or any at all in the department stores so it's the same shoe yet again but this was my first pair that sucked me into it and these are the metallic silver grays and blacks with the hot pink on the inside so it's a little bit different nylon 
It has the black CC, so these are not transparent at all. It has the light gray suede and the white leather trimming. So again, because this is one of my favorites, I have multiple colors in them. So this one was my first one. I bought it here in Hawaii. Um, first of that collection, but my very first Chanel sneaker are these here so i bought these a few years ago i don't even i can't even remember when i bought them guys but i love them because look at the pearl cc's in the front it's it is a mixture of suede a patent leather and leather inside so this has been used quite a bit honestly these i haven't wore I haven't worn these in a really long time and to be honest with you these were the worst shoes to break in I remember my feet were dying in these shoes um, you could wear it I used to wear it I used to wear it kind of like with show it to you guys I used to wear it with like the zipper undone on one side and I don't know I just kind of like the look at that time but yeah, these were the worst sneakers to break in. They hurt so much that that's probably why they were used so much because I was trying to get them to break in. I love these shoes quite a bit when I was wearing them. I think this is around the time when the Nike Yeezy Red Octobers came out. So all red shoes were a thing. So because I couldn't get those, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm going to spend that money towards a pair of Chanel ones. And I love this quite a bit maybe I'll wear it again we'll see um, I bought it a few years ago so I'm not even sure if it still fits my right foot fits bigger than my left so I felt like my right grew a little bit more than my left so I'm gonna try to see and put this back into my rotation and see if it still fits and if I still like it if not I'm probably gonna clean it up and put it on my Ellis collective sale we'll see and then my last pair of sneakers from Chanel which aren't really sneakers they look like it but you'll see what i mean so they are these chanel sneaker styled espadrilles i don't know if you can even call it that but they are like in a mid and of course it has the espadrille bottom here and then you have the leather patent cap toes and then it has like a cracked leather throughout i really love it because if you look at the top here it has the cc's on the tongue and then it has the espadrille bottoms i never wore these as much honestly it was one of those shoes where i put them on and then i look at it and then i take them off um the reason why i still i have these in my collection is um i bought these at california rodeo drive at the chanel there i went with i went i was at a conference with one of my coworkers, and we just so happened to just drive there and these is what i remember my experience at my first conference with you know the company that i was working for this was a good reminder of it but i even bought a pair of chanel uh celine's but they're not sneakers so you won't see them here they are um slip-ons but i mean i like them aesthetically it's just i never really wore them now let's move on to louis vuitton and the most recent pair that i had purchased are these here so they are the louis vuitton mesh sneakers in the uh hot pink and oh i absolutely love these guys it has a monogram that is uh see-through here and if you want to see the unboxing i will link it above but i really love these these are amazing you can wear all types of different socks and you'll be able to see what it looks like on the inside i really wanted the lows in that fluo yellow color however it never came to my location and i noticed that some of the shoes were higher lows they do fit differently because they're all hand done they all fit differently so i always have to try the shoes on but these are my favorite louis vuitton shoes well i don't have much honestly but i do really love these styles it ran a little bit big because this is the smallest size which is a men's seven that they could get in store so i i love it and my last piece from louis vuitton i have to dust it off a little bit it's a little bit dirty are these louis vuitton supreme dad sneakers so 
I've never, I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel. I've actually never used it. I've always wanted to use it, but I end up just never using it. But it has the red and white Supreme monogram. It has the Supreme tag here as well. It says LV. I think it says LV. Yep, it says LV on one side and it has Supreme on the back side. It has a little Louis Vuitton logo as well and the inside also has the red and white Louis Vuitton Supreme collaboration. So I actually really like these shoes. I got these when I was vacationing in Las Vegas. I thought it was completely sold out at the time, but what happened was there was like a, a huge it was like a huge fight weekend so they brought in a lot of these to the Las Vegas boutique so I got this in crystals so of course I had to get it just because I really wanted something from the Supreme collection but on top of that too I really like dad shoe style so I, I will rotate this more into my my quarantine fits but yeah I, I tend to use this sometime in the future I think I've only seen one person like live walking around wearing them i haven't seen anybody else wear them so i probably will will enter these in sooner or later mm. i have oh i actually have two balenciaga shoes and i didn't grab them but i have one i have two balenciagas here and one is oh jesus one they're so heavy one is the triple s's here in the translucent the creams the whites the light grays and what really drove me to getting these shoes were the um contrast no, they were not really contrasting but the black and white shoelaces i thought it fit really well with the style of the shoe this is my only really big chunky shoe and um you know, it took a lot of adjustment for me to see if I really like these because I have bigger feet, but I'm 5'8", so I have a size 9. Depending on the style, too, I can go up to size 10 uh, shoe. So this is a size 39, and um, it took me a while to get used to it, but I actually really like it. My feet do get tired because I usually always wear very lightweight shoes, like um, Air Maxes, Flyknits especially. So these... <laughs> were very hard for me to put into my rotation but actually it worked out i think i do love the style this is something that i don't wear often honestly but i do think they're adorable on really petite small feet so that ain't me but um i still just think they're awesome they just remind me of the 90s spice girls trend i used to love them i used to have um baby spices style platform shoes so it really reminds me of that it's just real heavy and then I got those Balenciagas, the ones that looks like socks. So I didn't want to get basic with the black and white ones, so I got to the one with the metallic sewn into the black knit upper. I actually like these. These are pretty comfortable. Um, the bottoms remind me a lot of Huraches, uh, Nike Huraches, if you know what those are. But it has the Balenciaga on the side here, and it's just knit. My husband thinks that these are like my ninja shoes because they look very, I guess, ninja-esque to him. They're just comfortable. Um, looks wise they're okay. They're pretty clean. Like I said, I want to be different so I got the ones with the metallic in them. And my last category before I end this video is going to be Christian Dior. This style has been my favorite style. So this pair in specific has been my most used sh designer shoe. B23 technical sneakers so it has the oblique on the side and it has a slight translucent look to it uh these are going to be super dirty because i've only washed like cleaned these like maybe once or twice so it has also the white cap toe on the side it has the dior and then it has the pull tabs in the back so these shoes have been my absolute favorite i've traveled with them and they traveled nicely so you can see that they're pretty worn on the inside if you can see and i wouldn't regret buying these at all these are just they've just been so great i just throw them with anything and they work out with everything and because i loved these so much i ended up getting the highs in the white on white and pro you probably have seen this video if you follow me you've seen this me unbox this black white 
color as well. Honestly, the lows are my favorite just because I do love the low silhouette a little bit better. It's just easier to use and it looks a little bit more effortless. So I do like the lows much more, but I still love them all nonetheless. I love them all. I just think they're fantastic shoes. They're comfortable. The highs do run a little bit more on the bigger side than the lows. And I mentioned that a little bit with the pink Louis Vuitton mesh sneakers that I have. So I didn't even try the highs on. I went based off of the size that I bought on the lows and the high versions ended up being bigger. So I would definitely try them out if you are interested in getting those sneakers. And then the last sneaker that I have is the Toe de Jouy in the women's lows. So I won, at one point I was thinking I was going to sell them because the right side did run, seem smaller than the left side. I've never used them. They've never been used, but um that yeah the left side fits but the right side's a little bit snug so i'm still like i think about it all the time whether or not i'm going to let this piece go or not um but i do love it it's beautiful i love the toe de joy print and i just think it's beautiful i think it's beautiful with the dior logo on top of the laces here it's just such a beautiful shoe it has the tiger on the side as well it's just beautiful and in Rochelle-like fashion, I forgot to mention the random six that I have. So these I haven't opened in a while. So the first one that I have here is from Giuseppe. And who the heck did I think I was when I got these? These are actually really not that bad. There's, there's other Giuseppes out there which is dated a little dated but these actually look like the chanel ones that i got i believe i didn't wear these all that often because first of all they were they fit a little bit big because i kind of bought i really wanted them so this is the only size i think they had left and some small sizes so it's in that mock croc i ha i it has it has this gold zipper hard uh, in the back, also just gold hardware all around. And it's in this light gray and white colors. I honestly think I wore this maybe twice, no more than that. It's a little bit, from what I remember, I believe it was pretty stiff, but this was pretty pricey. I don't know who I thought I was when I got this. So the next I have is from Givenchy. This is actually my favorite and I always think about it and I forget to take it out. But I got these beautiful high tops in the floral rose print. I love these shoes. I think they are just beautiful and it is all leather and it's just gorgeous. I remember I'm pretty sure it was um I saw G Dragon with these from Big Bang and when I saw it on him I loved it. It's either G Dragon or Pharrell. It's one of those guys. I'm pretty sure it is G Dragon though. So it says Givenchy here on the strap and uh, it's just beautiful. Whenever I do wear these I get tons and tons of compliments just such a beautiful shoe this is the only Givenchy just like the Giuseppe's these are the only ones that I own from this brand but it is absolutely stunting stunning and stunting I don't know what I'm doing but beautiful then I have one from Saint Laurent and they are these highs. I'm noticing a common highs situation. So these are like just these studded high tops. They have like a tongue, a tall tongue. And uh, they're just pretty plain. I don't know. I, I remember when I, when I first got them, I loved them quite a bit. Um, I'm going to try to see if I'm going to lace them up higher to see if I like them. If not, I'm probably going to put them on like sale on my LS Collective. But it's still a really nice shoe. I don't think I wore it that often. It has 
Again, it says it, it has the high tongue and then it has extra laces here and then it has the studdings in the silver. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to try to see how this looks like with it laced all the way up to see if I like it still. And I'm going to try it on and see if it even still fits because I had this shoe for a while now. And the last couple three that I have here. Oh, this box is dusty. So I have a pair from Versace. I love this pair. I've worn it actually a lot. And they are these Medusa highs. Again, I'm seeing a common thread here. A lot of these shoes are highs. And it has the medusa in gold on the tongue here and it's it is laceless and it is black leather all around i still think these shoes are fantastic they're pretty comfortable for the most part it says versace in the back dirty on the bottom but these i love these to death when they first when i first got them when we had a versace um boutique in my local mall so i have that and my one and only MCM pair as well. I've worn this, I think, once. There are these really cute pink and black white highs with the red lining again. I think these are all high shoes, guys. So it has the strap here. This was going through my, like, K-pop when MCM got really big through the K-pop scene again. Uh, this was my K-pop <laughs> contribution to the world. Gorgeous. And last, I don't know if people would consider this as high-end, but Kenzo is, I think Kenzo is still high-end up there. Um, I have not worn these, but this is the highs again. Yes, yeah, so they're all highs. Um, they're never worn, but I really wanted the sweater in this eyeball print. And every time when I swear at Nordstrom, they had one in my size in the sweater and there was like some bodily fluid on it. It was disgusting. So I ran across the shoe and ever since I got them, I still love them. I just never wore them. So it says Kenzo in the back and it just has like the eyeballs all over it. I just thought it was neat. I'm going to try these on, still see if these fit. If not, I might throw it on the LS Com, but I still think they're awesome. All right, guys, so that concludes my designer sneaker collection. I know I put shoes, but literally as I was pulling them out, I was like, oh my gosh, this video is going to be too long. And the last collection video that I have done, it literally took me almost 24 hours to edit down. <sighs> And it really screwed up my timeline to getting videos out about every four days or so. But guys, that is my designer sneaker collection. It is not as big as probably a couple people thought it was. If anything, if I did a whole sneaker collection, so including Nikes, Adidas, and all that stuff, that would probably take a little bit longer and that's probably one that I would dread doing because it would take that long. But otherwise that, guys, continue to stay safe during the quarantine quarantine quarantining Ugh. but guys i hope you guys are staying safe and healthy throughout this quarantine and of course please take care of yourselves ask your friends and your family that you don't get to see if they're doing okay and if you haven't already subscribed please do and like this video ring the bell too so you can get updates on anytime i do have any new videos that come out there is much more collection videos out there to get done and if you haven't already checked out my ig check it out here i do update that more often and and otherwise that guys you guys are the ellis the list get it <laughs> bye